What's going on YouTube? Drop a like, drop a subscription, if you already. Let's jump straight into the video. I uh, just made a trade with another comic dealer friend of mine. Anything that's common in the industry is making trades, putting stacks together, trading for other stacks of books. Uh, so I brought it into a buddy of mine who uh, is a dealer, and he and I know his inventory pretty well. And I know, you know, all right, does he sell a lot of Miles Morales? Is he low on Miles at the moment? So I brought him a stack of Miles. Is he low on Scotty Young? So I brought him a stack of Scotty Youngs. Is he low on Sonics? Archie Sonics, you know what I mean? I brought him some Archie Sonics kind of thing. So I did that. I, I pieced together a stack of stuff, you know, that, that you know, I'm not a whole lot into a lot of stuff that I'm a dollar or less into. Uh, I mean, all of them less than a dollar into, I do believe. And, you know, it's, it's also stuff that, you know, maybe it's a couple ticks on it. Maybe it is, you know, my third best copy, second best copy, uh, or, 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 you know, it's either it's either my second best overall or it's my third best probably to myself stuff, including, you know, I might have one copy to myself, might not. You know, the Sonics, I don't have a copy for myself. It was my only Sonics. No big deal. But I made a trade for a stack of books. I also traded for some tr literal trades, trade paperbacks. So we're going to jump right into it. We're going to start off with the two magazines. We've got Boom, number 11, uh, Joe sent out cover, homage to Jack Kirby. Now, I will say, I wish I showed, I, I took a picture of what I traded, but it's a lot of stuff that you've probably seen me in videos over the channel, stuff that might not even have been made into the videos of just, it was bulk. I traded bulk for a small stack of books, which I'm, I think I made out just fine. But I wish I showed the, the, the my side of the trade just to, you know, get an idea of what, what, what was going on. But I made out a lot. Boom 11, it's got this great Jack Kirby cover. It's homage to Jack Kirby. There's a lot of stuff on the inside talking about Jack Kirby. Now, if you know Foom, friends of old Marvel, and some Foom can be a tough run to put together. Obviously, number 10's expensive. Uh, number 1's going to be a pain. That Spider-Man cover where it's like a red. That one's a bit of a pain. The Silver Surfer one's really nice. There's some tough Fooms out there. Uh, so I only got two Fooms in this. But happy to have them. This great Jack Kirby issue. And then Foom number 12, the next following issue. Gorgeous vision cover. Now, both of these have really nice back covers as well that uh, that are worth checking out. And was this, is this another? Bichette has a Bichette to Bichette. Bichette cover. Really gorgeous. Um, and this is also preview appearance of the Eternals and not Captain... It's, oh, Nova. The Eternals and Nova. So, two fairly big preview appearances. Icarus is, in, is, in, is included in that. So... Uh, you know, good, nice mid-tier level Bronze Age Marvel introductions there. But it's got that gorgeous Vision cover, one that's probably going to make my wall at some point uh, when I redo the wall again in the future. I don't know if I'm going to swap anything out now. I don't know. I got so many books on my wall. I don't know. Uh, so, Fooms to start it off. We'll end off with that book. So, then we've got, show off the other stack of comics. And I'll end off with a nice little key. But we got Thor 149. Second appearance of the record. Also, continuation of the origin of the Inhumans. This is a great book. Of course, it's a Mylar. So, it's going to be a pain with the light. And it's going to stand. I got to really figure out how I'm doing my standing up books for the videos. But, uh, gorgeous cover. This is a really, really sharp copy. Uh, as you know, I'm doing the Thor run, and, I'm, you know, with them. It's pretty hard to show off the book with that big glare, but you get the idea. Uh, I'm within 40 issues of the Thor run officially, so we're almost done. And this was a nice one to scratch off the list. I'm done with the keys. I, uh, just have some odds and ends stuff here and there to pick up. Then, a, a run I did complete today, uh, was Hellraiser. Epic Comics, Hellraiser, Clive Barker. This is before the Marvel Clive Barker books really fell off the rails with the weird superhero stuff. But these are can be really tough. That's first periods of oh God, what are they? What are the kids called? The Harrowers. The Harrowers. They actually got their own series by uh, via Clive Barker. Well, underneath the Clive Barker title, uh, if you know anything about the series, it's kind of like an anthology with three original stories inside of it. So that's their first periods. That's a really tough book. And I got book 20, which is, I think, the last issue, if I'm not mistaken, if not second to last, but at least the last issue. So I finally ended off that run. I've been doing that run as long as I've been in the comics, so my whole life, pretty much. So finally knocked the last two off so for nothing. So very exciting day. Uh, tough books, really tough books. At least in, in, in my travels, they, they, they've been tough. Then we have a couple more Thor issues. Thor 274, Thor 280 with this great Hyperion cover. That's a really nice cover. I love the artwork on that. We've got 
Thor. We'll stay with the Thors here. Round it out. Thor, 229. I know there's some minor significance to this. Some first appearance of a god, if I'm not mistaken. If it's the Egyptian gods, if I'm not mistaken. But I might be wrong. Let me know in the comments. What am I missing on this one? And then Thor, 201. Some nice 15, 20 centers, 20 centers to round that off. Um, those books don't really matter. Then we got a Spider Woman number 38. This is a great book. First appearance of Siren, the daughter of Banshee. Classic, classic Marvel hero, classic X Men from that like John Byrne, Chris Claremont era. But Siren is a great addition. Very underloved book. Something that kind of goes under the radar a lot, especially when we're talking about next generation heroes. Um, and then another book that goes under the radar, Justice League. 141. If you know, if you heard the rumors about the Green Lantern show, you know the Manhunters very well may play a big part, and this is a big Manhunter book, if you're, well, for Manhunter at least. There's uh, not a lot of Manhunter keys, there's a couple. And Manhunter is tricky, because you don't really want to collect the gold. I mean, nothing wrong with the collect. I love to own the first bits of the Golden Age version of Manhunter, but it's not the same as these Manhunters. And then there's the first issue special. So there's a couple of books to look at for Manhunter. This is one of them. So I kind of got that semi thrown into the deal. Then we got Green Lantern Green Era number five in the reprint era with the new inkings on the classic covers of the classic Neil Adams covers and um, Danny O'Neill stories. Gorgeous, gorgeous book. I have the original two on my wall back there. So I had to pick this up to go with it. And then also included was a newspaper strip that I've never seen before cut out from some newspaper but it's I think an original Howard the Duck story it's nonsense Howard the Duck just sitting at a table but it was a cool novelty piece I'm gonna put with my Howard the Duck collection so I was glad I picked that up and uh I could segue that in the next book but instead I'm gonna show off really quickly I got eight trades actually tra I also brought in eight trades that I traded eight trades for that's a mouthful but so we I'm gonna speed run these before we get to the the big book. Superman vs. Brainiac, just to reprint a bunch of classic Brainiac Superman stories. Manhunter Trial by Fire, it's volume two, and this is volume one of the Manhunter series, uh, Street Justice. This is a really good read with the female Manhunter, so I wanted to, I never had a full run of it, so I wanted to get a good chunk down. Showcase presents Green Lantern, a bunch of classic Green Lantern stories. The only thing that these showcases suck for is, uh, because I don't have the whole Green Lantern run, and I like to reread some of them, but they're in black and white, which normally I don't mind. I don't mind a black and white comic, but when it comes to Green Lantern, Colors are a little bit important. You know, Star Sapphire being pink is pretty important. Green Lantern being green is pretty important. Sinestro being yellow and pink is very important. So, a little disappointing there when it comes to the showcases with the Green Lantern stuff. Uh, then we got Fast 4 versus X, but I have this. I have these the four issues already. But there's a gorgeous... Get out of that dingy bag. But this gorgeous original painted cover. I'm not even sure who did this. A uh, Lago? It's signed Lego. I feel like I should know who that is off top, but I don't. Disappointed myself. But this is a gorgeous cover that I believe, I'm fairly certain is original to that trade paperback. Then we have the Teen Titans Archive Collection, Volume 1. Good old George Perez Teen Titans. Um, and so it's, you know, four classic issues. And it's in color. So really nice slip covers on these. These archive collections are, are nice to collect. I vampire. I probably have all these, but it's a good way to just thumb through it yet again. Classic Dracula-esque storytelling from uh, House of Mystery. And then to round it off, DC Universe illustrated by Neil Adams. Neil Adams is my guy. If you have uh, followed me for any amount of time, you probably have recognized me to be Neil Adams Fantasy. My 232 signed and graded back there by Neil Adams, but also a fair amount of books on my wall. I mean, there's the first Dead Man. I mean, don't mind the road in. Let's just kind of sit up there before I fix his wing. But uh, there's a bunch of Neil Adams books. Not all of them are in front, but there's several layers and there's stuff down there. There's, Neil Adams is a big part of my collection. So there's a bunch of Neil Adams stories. I believe that's from uh, the first human target cover. But why not? And then to round it all off, we get a nice big happy trade. I had to get a nice little minor key, which was Adventures into Fear number 19. First appearance of Howard the Duck, classic. Bronze Age Key. Uh, how was that classic character? I uh, saw the, the movie when I was really young, and I was hooked. I actually have behind me. It's, you can't see it, but hooked up on the wall is um, 
I believe it's a piece of his suit, and it's the same shirt from the guy who was in the film. So I have a little car that's back there, but with the, the suit actor, I should say, of Howard the Duck. One, I believe there was two. Well, there's a bunch of them in, in the pre-production, but in the actual finished film, because they've reshot that film a million times. But uh, anyway, Howard the Duck's a big character. He's actually not introduced by name in this, but he shows up. He's smoking a cigar. He's Howard the Duck. Cutch by... Uh, Ask him, he's out at the duck. But uh, this is a great book. I'm happy to add this to my collection. I've never really been in the market to pay for one of these. They kind of go for a good amount. And, you know, this, is it a perfect copy? You can see up at the top, there's some wear there. But I'm happy to have it, and uh, I'm happy to trade for it and not come out of pocket for it. So, real quick, I forgot to mention in the video, because it's getting pressed and clean, but I'm also getting a Detective Comics 405 in the deal, First League of Assassins. So, there's another one of those neil adams keys so i actually got two keys out of it. i totally forgot about it when i was shooting the video but i got a, a second decent sized key out of the deal so there that is to add to the discussion so first league of assassins text comics four or five was included back to the video sometimes if it can work out for both parties both parties get stuff that they need uh and or wanted it's pretty good Happy day at the end of the uh, at the end of the story. Again, this is a great book to pick up, and one that I wouldn't normally try to pay for. It's a book I've always wanted, didn't normally want to pay for. These books, I'm normally like, if I find these in the wild, I'm at like five bucks on a max. You know what I mean? But they go for more than that. But if I trade stuff, what's it matter? You know, same kind of the Thors are the Thors, and uh, it's all the same. It's all the same ordeal. But the trades, why come out of pocket when you can uh, can just trade stuff you already have? Not a bad way to do it. But if you aren't already following me here on Instagram, Facebook for more daily content, uh, shout out to my boy Mike and my boy Tony for giving me these two new Godzilla figures recently. Got the 07 version of the 84 suit. So that was very exciting. Or not 84 suit. 84 suit. What am I talking about? This is... Uh... Wow, I'm slipping. Man, I am slipping. This is the... I want to say the Son of Godzilla suit. Based off of the... I mean, there's a lot of... If you're a Godzilla fan... This version of the suit was used in much movies, but I want to say it's, the sun, it's supposed to be the Son of Godzilla version of that suit. Who knows? And this great 98 Godzilla figure. This thing's massive. So shout out to Tony, shout out to Mike for those. But uh, like I said, follow me here on Instagram, Facebook for more daily content. I put out a series called Tales from the Hunt where I talk about going out and looking for the books. I've got a bunch of new content coming up soon. I'm um, trying to figure out what I'm doing for October this year. If I'm still doing the horror movie views, if you excited for that, let me know down below so I can really figure out how I'm doing that this year. But also, uh, I, I got... You know, a video coming up of an antique store haul that I got uh, on the download. I had a video coming up, possibly with a, uh, if everything works out, knock on wood, with a, um, whatchamacallit, um, estate sale, excuse me. Suppose that I'm supposedly going to check out, talk to the guys running it and stuff like that. But that's all here said. Doesn't matter. Like I said, follow me here on Facebook and Instagram for more daily content. I post up all the time. Put up shorts all the time. Put up, you know, one or two videos a week on Wednesdays and sometimes Saturdays. Full-length content like this. I got series like uh, the character breakdowns where I break down every book, every major book in the history of a combo character uh, and the keys that make them up. Some fun stuff like that. Spec talk and hauls videos. And I got a lot coming out. I'm kind of rambling at this point. So until next time, peace.